Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to try a kale ice cream. Apparently, we're going to get our vegetables and our dessert in right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so today we're going to try a kale ice cream now i know that we have made ice creams at home and in the past when the kids were little we would put all kinds of little vegetables like in spinach in the vitamix to try to trick them but they're not even tricking us <laughs> no they're telling us there's <laughs> kale in this thing so this is salted kale from killer creamery okay is your guess that this is going to be green? I'm assuming it's going to be green. So uh, Killer Creamery actually sent this to us, said, hey, why don't you give it a try? And it is available on their website right now. There is a link down below as well as a discount code if you're interested. Uh, so let's go ahead and try this. I've had it sitting on the counter for, ooh. ooh. I've had it sitting on the counter for about 30 minutes. It's so. like... Baby diarrhea. And that cream. is what it looks like. It really does. That's what it looks like, right? Like a just two in, month old diarrhea. Just in time for Halloween, something scary. Okay, so if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. So uh, the way we're doing it now is we're going to taste it and then put it through the five things review, and we're going to discuss all of the nutrition and everything as we go through the five things review. I'm a little bit afraid. So we're going <laughs> to. Legitimately afraid. Well, I will say this. It is pretty creamy. All right. It is It is definitely pretty creamy. I, honestly, I smell like a caramel smell. I'm not smelling like ho, 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 green giant. Like, <sighs> it doesn't smell vegetable-y. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I'm trying, you know what I want to do? I want to put this in the category with green tea ice cream. When you would go to yeah. like a, a, you know, a Japanese restaurant, a Chinese restaurant and, and get that. But it's not, it's way better than that because I, I don't, take another one. I don't really like green tea ice cream that much. Take another one. Hmm. It's sweet. It's very sweet. I mean, it's, it's caramel. It's not super sweet. When I first, when it first hits your tongue, I'm like, yep, that's kale. Oh, wait. And then all of a sudden the caramel takes over and the kale goes away. Where it is more defrosted and softer, those spaces are where I'm tasting the kale. So get just like this, the rim that's like more defrosted. Right? Yeah. It's like savory. It's that first touch to the tongue. It's like savory, then sweet. That is funny. It's definitely interesting. If you're somebody that liked potato chips and birthday cake together at a party, that's kind of like what's going on in there. Well, okay. So you want to put this through our five things? Salty and So five things. So like five I said, things. if you're new to our channel, we review all products on five things. We talk about the ingredients. Does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? Wow. Okay. So number one, the ingredients. So the ingredients in this are cream, filtered water, erythritol, whey protein concentrate, uh, chicory root fiber, MCT oil, kale, which is written in green, Vegetable Aww. glycerin, natural caramel flavoring, sea salt, gums of xanthan, locust, bean, and guar gum, and then stevia. And it says contains milk and coconut. Great ingredients. Yeah, very the ingredients clean. are very good. Uh, super clean ingredients. So the ingredients are good. Yeah. Amazing. So number two. No, wait. I'm kind of surprised it doesn't say organic kale. 
<laughs> right? Like, I'm sure it probably is, but... Yeah, it doesn't say that. It just says made in the United States, so it doesn't say it's organic kale. I'm, I would assume it is, yeah. but you never know. I would just capitalize on the fact that yeah. it's like, it's a vegetable in here. So number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? So the nutrition label is a serving size is a half a cup. There's four servings in this container, just like all the other ice cream. Right. 150 calories per serving. 140 of those calories are from fat. How awesome is so, that? 15 grams of fat, 3 grams of protein, 13 total carbohydrates per serving. Wow. 2 grams of dietary fiber, 8 grams From of erythritol. Kale. <laughs> so it is uh, 3 net carbs per serving. So if you eat the entire pint, it is 12 net carbs. Which isn't terrible. Oh no, my goodness. Not terrible. So uh, so yeah, it definitely keto is based on a nutrition label. Yeah. Uh, so number three, how does it taste? It tastes good. It's definitely more of a conversation starter. Like, I would not eat this alone. I yeah. would eat this in a group. Like, I double dog dare you because it's very tasty. I mean, I think it's I think it's delicious, but there's definitely a kale element in there. There's definitely a kale element to me to it. It's for me, it's not bad. No. But it's not awesome. I mean, I like some of their other more traditional flavors, but I'm not surprised at that, right? Yeah. You know, I mean, I would assume just regular salted caramel. I would love that. But yeah. I almost need to take one more taste because, again, it's it's, it's so weird. Interesting. And am I, am I, am I, is my taste buds reacting to the color and the thought of it? Or is it, am I actually tasting kale? No, there's a little. Yeah. When you first get it, you're it's like, like, I'm eating a vegetable. If you're somebody who... But then the caramel takes over and that goes away. Yeah. But I don't know if I like that that first, you're eating a vegetable kind of thing on my tongue. If you are someone who used to really enjoy green smoothies, and you don't have those anymore because of all of the fruit and everything that's in it, you'd probably like that too. Okay, so here's you're going to you're going to tell me if, if I'm off base here. Here's where I'm getting with the flavor. You took some cream broccoli, put it on your tongue and then put caramel ice cream on top of it yes. and ate it at the same time. Yeah. That it tastes more like a creamed broccoli or a broccoli soup than it does kale. Am I wrong? I yeah. It tastes kind of like a broccoli cheese soup at the first bite. And then after that, it goes to caramel ice cream. I was thinking it tasted a little bit more like creamed spinach. Okay. Than kale. You're on the same base, though. Yeah. But, but definitely, it's not a kale thing. It's, no. It kind of tastes like cream of broccoli if soup. If you really liked creamed spinach, but then started eating it frozen <laughs> and added caramel to it. So number four, how much does it cost? Okay, here we go. Okay, so according to their website, it's $35.96 for Four pints, that's $9 a pint before using any kind of a coupon code or mm -hmm. anything like that. But do I have to buy that many? Can yeah, they only sell it in, a, no, they sell it in like packs of four. So you got to buy four pints of it. And they don't have like a mix or match. No, they do have like a starter bundle, but this flavor is not included in there. So I've really got to commit. You got to commit to all four of being four this flavor. Four pints of kale. Yeah. So. so number five, would we recommend this? I honestly, I don't think that I would buy four pints unless I was having a party. Right. And you want, every, I mean, this might be a funny talking piece at Thanksgiving, right? Because right. Because it's like a sage color and everybody can be like, hey, we're having dessert. It's kind of like green beer. Exactly. Like yeah. it's more of, it really is just like a conversation piece. I can't imagine like sitting, you know, alone and eating, you know, reaching for kale ice cream. <laughs> On my own. Okay, so for me, like, I love Killer Creamery, and uh, I like all the flavors. This one's probably on the bottom of the list. It's not bad, but it's not like, yeah, I, I don't want four pints of that. But they've been coming out with, with really, like, conversation starters. The black one that they had yeah. for the Killer Whale Preservation, and now this one. I and mean, there's another one, too. It's like a cinnamon bun one that we have that we still have to try as well. They're fun. Yeah. It's just interesting. Yeah. But again, it's nine dollars a pint. So I'm not going to not recommend it because I don't think it's horrible. I think no. the ingredients are good. 
Um, the price, I mean, we've talked about the price before. It is a little bit high, but so are the cost of the ingredients. I mean, most of the ice creams out there, especially when they have to be shipped, they are, you know, eight, nine dollars a pint. Yeah, so. but it's more quality ingredients. Absolutely. I mean, you taste the cream. It's very rich. It's very, that's why it makes you think of like cream spinach that's been done really well. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comments section um, what you think about having a green kale ice cream. And also let us know what is your favorite flavor ice cream. And what would you like to see like as another mashup of like this? Maybe you'd like taco meat and ice cream. Or maybe you've been like, hmm, we need to have chicken drumsticks and ice cream. You're going a little too far. Maybe we could have like a pregnancy line. Well, like I said, that is our video for today. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, bye. bye.